we didn't realize how little information was online about Kosovo buses. So we thought we'd give you some tips. Today we are late for our bus from Pristina to Peja, which never happens. No, it never happens on this channel. <laughs> it just seems that whenever we stay anywhere for more than a couple of days, all our possessions get strewn all over the place we're staying. So it's really hard to get them together. <laughs> Also, sorry about the audio quality, our mic is not working again, so we're having to film without it. Should we go get the bus? Yes. <laughs> we may be running a little bit late for our bus, but that doesn't mean we don't have time to stop and pick up some food. <laughs> I've got snacks from the bus. Okay, now we really need to get the bus. <laughs> so much for us being late. <laughs> the bus was 10 minutes late instead. We're catching a local bus to the bus station to get our big bus to Peja. Although we now think that we've missed the big bus. We made it. We made it because the bus is late. It was supposed to leave about five minutes ago, but we won't tell anyone that. Do you want some crisps? What we got? Well, we've got two choices. Either Really salted. Mm. Or real barbecue. Oh, yes, please. Uh, I got the ready salted for you. No, you didn't. Give me my grills. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. After a thankfully much shorter bus journey than we expected, we've arrived in Pedja. Now we just need to find our place. Which should actually be really easy because it's only a 15 minute bus. Do you want to carry my bag? No. Do you want to carry me? Let's go. Hello. Strongly relate to that dog being woken up by you. Taxi. Taxi, no thank you. No taxi. No taxi. <laughs> Why is it every door we try to go through is always locked? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Apparently, the oh, is that the second? Turns out it's because we tried to go through the wrong door. No, this one is locked as well. I have to log into the Wi Fi and then call them and help them with him. Hi! Okay, great. Thank you. I'll be there in five minutes to let us in. Our host has told us we get to choose from two different rooms. This is a first. <laughs> the nicer of the two rooms was up an extra flight of stairs, so we had to work for it. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Don't hate me. What? Can I go make a coffee? <sighs> you ready now? Yep. Are you doing the first tip or shall I? We haven't really prepared this. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Essentially, we didn't realise how little information was online about Kosovo buses, so we found it extremely hard to find out how to get them. So we thought we'd give you some tips, so that if you ever come to Kosovo, you find it easier than we did. Tip number one, make sure that you have cash for the bus tickets. We've not come across any buses that seem to take card. If you're getting a local bus, it doesn't seem to be any more than a euro. And if you're getting an intercity bus, it probably won't be more than 10 euros. But whatever happens, make sure you have cash. On that note, make sure you have a little bit of extra cash because sometimes they charge you to put your big bags in hold under the bus. This doesn't happen all the time, like today we didn't have to pay for our big bags, but you never know when it's going to happen and you don't want to be running to a cash point five minutes before your bus leaves or an ATM for all those non-British people out there. <laughs> Tip number three, be prepared to stand. We've noticed that even when all the seats are taken, the drivers tend to let more people on. It does seem to be something common here with the locals to stand, so if you get on a busy bus, be prepared to stand in the aisle rather than getting a seat. Our next tip is that you can buy all of your bus tickets on the bus. Whether you're traveling from one side of the country to the other, or just 
five minutes of the city, all of the buses allow you to buy tickets on them. This will stop you paying online or for a tourist agency and getting charged an extra few euros for a booking fee. Yeah, that doesn't seem like much, but when you travel as much as we do, a few euros can quickly add up. And it's also better spent on coffee. Tip number five, that we've actually found a website in Cosmo that lists all of the timetables for the intercity buses, and we've linked it down below. You have to translate the page from Albanian into English, or whatever your language is, but once you do that, you can read the timetable. Unless you speak Albanian, then you don't need to translate. You probably know the buses anyway if you speak Albanian. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they all seem to know everything here, just like that. Like, oh, I need to get to this random village that you've never heard of. Oh yeah, my Uncle Steve lives there. There's one person who lives there. It's, it's just the most Albanian name I've ever heard. <laughs> Steve. Albanian Steve. <laughs> and finally, when you're traveling within a major city, you can just use Google Maps to plan your public transport link because it's accurate and up to date. Nice and easy. Thanks, Google. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our tips. If you found them useful, or if you're planning on traveling to Kosovo, let us know in the comments below. But for now, we're gonna go out into Peja and find some food. When we arrived here, we think that the host was telling us we could go up to the roof, so we're gonna check it out. Go, go, go. Yep, it's over, yeah. <laughs> there are mountains and noisy bikes. Shh! Hey, you can sort of see the river from here as well. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go and eat. I don't know, I thought you were gonna jump in. <laughs> Did you think I was gonna jump in? Yeah! It's like that deep, I would die. <laughs> That's why I was concerned. I could push her. No, I can't do that. Or could I? No? No? A lot of statues of Albanian soldiers who fought and died in the war here. It really kind of puts into perspective how impactful the war was and how many people lost their lives. One thing we've noticed since being in Kosovo is there are a lot of stray dogs. They're always very loud. Mm. They bark a lot. I used to like stray dogs and now I'm a little bit nervous of them because they keep running at us yeah. and barking. <laughs> also, I've had rabies jabs and Dale hasn't. He's an idiot. Sorry, Mum. I'll get him at Christmas, I swear. <laughs> yeah. This is a big table for two people, but all their tables are big. Oh my god, <laughs> this looks amazing. This restaurant is apparently very famous for its traditional Kosovan food, and I've got the Peja pot, which is the city we're in. I got the prison pot, which is the city we're going to after this one. Oh, it's literally sizzling hot straight out of the oven, and the bread's also warm, and it looks like it might be freshly baked. There's nothing like the smell of fresh bread. Essentially, I've just got veal baked in a pot with lots of vegetables and sauce. So I'm gonna see how it tastes. It's basically just like a really warm, hearty stew. Very savory and goes really well with bread. <coughs> My body just failed me then. <laughs> Mine is also veal, but it comes with a few different veg and a bit of a richer sauce. Oh wow, mm. 
it is just pure happiness in a bowl. Skillet. Pot. It makes me happy. We've had a nice hot meal and we're really full but very tired so we're gonna go home and go to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing some exploring and hopefully something adventurous and adrenaline fueled. <laughs> so thank you for watching, we will see you tomorrow, please subscribe. I did that in the wrong order. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and we will see you soon. Well, it doesn't go well with bread. Hello, dog. Goodbye, dog. What is this? Make it brave. What is happening? Make it brave. <laughs>